I slipped on them. And I figured it was something to do with the water cutter, so I took my heavy 10 inch water cutter and I walked down there and I, I talked to her all the time, you know. And mm -hmm. She was acknowledging I was there and I walked right up to her and I talked to her. And I was down there and I took one wall and I took another wall and I got one leg out and put it down. I said, Oh, you stay right here now. And went over and got the other leg and we walked up to the wall. You didn't cut it or anything, right? Oh, wow. He just went through and then she, she you know, it was too big to couldn't get it back up. Mm. <laughs> she remembers that, though. Hmm? She remembered that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you rot her much? No, no, I never. Tony was Susie's uh, uh, show horse. Mm -hmm. Not show, competition. You know, she did bow. Uh huh. And I didn't want to do anything that would mess her up. So I used to ride Tessie the black one, and oh. I liked her best. Because she was a smooth ride. Mm. The only used to sort of pick it a little bit, you know, where you <laughs> get this kind of stuff. Uh, they, she, that other horse she has is real nice. That brown one. That new one that they got. Oh, that they have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like her. I like, yeah. is it a sh female or a male? I think they are female. I don't think she wants to court any gilding. Well, the one is is her horse's son. What's that one's name? Mm, not sure. The one that she says the brat. Oh, he was good boy. The one of them is is um, her horse's son. She said, what was, what's, what's her? Oh, yeah, that, uh. That's, that's a male. What's, what's, what's the? She said he's a brat. I like that one, though. She said like, he's a brat. But I like that one. The male, I like that yeah. one. Everybody likes it, but it, it's not a nice horse. Yeah, oh. he's mean. Got personality. Yeah, you, you, you can't ride him. Poco, Poco. Poco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poco rules and loose, except with Dawny. <laughs> Not Dawny, Dawny's the mother. Julie? Uh, huh? Julie, is Julie, Julie still alive? Yeah, that's Julie. the old one. That must, that's the Dawny's one. Dawny's the old one, Julie's the young one. No, Dawny's not alive anymore, I don't think. Yeah, Julie is, that's what I mean, Julie. Yeah. We should have seen Dawny. I, I remember Dawny. That was the greatest horse. That was yeah. a pretty good horse, yeah. White. One was white and one was black. You were whistling, giving the food, right? Oh yeah, that's the only way you go train. <laughs> so <laughs> I used to pick up a red rubber ball that we had, red, and stand and, and holler for, for our horse, the red, to come, and he'd look up. And he'd come anyway. But he saw that red ball, he would run, and he'd get there, and found it wasn't an apple. He's, he'd be like, what? What the hell you, what the hell what? you calling me for? <laughs> Don't you know I ain't, I ain't eating no apple, uh, ain't eating no apples in a week? We gave him sugar cubes, too. Sugar cubes. Do they still do that? Do they still give sugar cubes? No more? We they used don't. to do that all the time. Yeah. We came home from Myrtle Beach and I pulled in and I looked, always looking. And there she was laying down at the other side of this fence, down towards the stream. Mm. All out and I thought, well, I'm wrong. So I got a lead line and went down and talked to her and all she did was crazy that she had found her. Mm. Well, she ate too much. Huh? She ate too much? Yeah. Yeah. Ate too much grass? grass. Yeah, not, not grain. She didn't have anything. We just always turned up loose here yeah. when we went away because we had faster and water. Uh -huh. we needed. Mm -hmm. But she found her. But I talked to her and I got her on her feet. And I brought her up and put her in the car and made out of her. And then she was okay? Mm -hmm. Then she was okay? Yeah. yeah. Mm. 
Huh? You're not going to say nothing. That'll mess up the tape. <laughs> Why don't you put that away? Well, since you told me you didn't mind the short hair, I thought, okay, that's a good chance for me to get some video. You look good, Dad. You really look good. We were worried about you the last time. You're going to say that when I go on the call. Don't he look good? Oh, they yeah. always say that. Nobody looks good in the coffin because they yeah, shouldn't. they do because they always say that. They're yeah, fine. My grandmother good. was so pretty when they had, she looked so much younger than she was. I don't know how they did that. Oh, well, they paint and putty. Yeah. Paint and putty. I'm going to have them take me down here and put me in that little thing and burn me up. <laughs> well, she, she's got a graveyard on her place. It's registered. That's good. She knows who was buried there, but she can't tell where the graves were. They were so far back. Mm -hmm. Probably one day they'll be digging to put a tree or something in and come up with a bunch of old bones. <laughs> oh, did you tell me about the Holocaust? You saw that thing last night? Oh, no. This priest? No, this is terrible. The Holocaust, they, this priest. He's not Jewish or anything. Yeah, he's a he's priest. A, what is he? He's, he's Catholic. Catholic. And he's from a, one of those countries in Europe. And he did a little research, and he discovered that there's tens of thousands and thousands of thousands of Jewish people that didn't die in Germany and didn't die in those different concentration camps. They died in Russia by the Germans coming through in these little towns, and they'd shoot them all and put them in a hole. Well, they dug up. You heard about any of that? They yeah. dug that up, and but the but the number that they say were killed is like nothing compared to, to what it is, to what right? It was. And the crazy part is, they said everybody in town wanted to go out and watch. You tell me how that how, how the graves move for days. Oh yeah, they, they said the graves move. They for would days. move. The people wouldn't be dead. There'd be people that were buried, who wouldn't be dead. And then the grave would move. Is it the hollering, the screaming, and the moving, and what, what else was And the steam. But I can't understand why anybody in town wanted to go and watch. Because they hated the Jews. They were neighbors, though. Huh? They were neighbors. And the people that were telling the story were crying. They were neighbors in, the, in Germany, too. But they were like tw 12, 12 and 16, wasn't it, years old? So it's just sheer prejudice, is what you're saying. It's just sheer prejudice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the kids wouldn't wouldn't be that way. They would have thoughts. Well, the ones deal. telling the story now were kids then. Were 12 and 16 years old, and now they're telling. They didn't know all the things that happened, and they were telling them, and they were crying while they were telling the the priest. He's he's documenting. Oh, he's yeah, updated and trying to find yeah. out where the graves are, and he's finding them because they're showing him the great big um, where, where they sh they had. He said that they would shoot the babies and then the mothers. It's terrible. It's just terrible to think. And they were finding all these bones of babies. Yeah, and don't know who or what. Man's inhumanity and man. Mm -hmm. mm. It's just. It's got a book in there of thugs. And it's all the, all the leaders of the countries, you know, like Saddam Hussein. Yeah. Mm. I can't read no more. I, I like to read my westerns and a lot of them. Can't do it. Yeah. But you know, they have books on tape. That's true. You they can get books, books on, on tape. You can get books on tape. They tell you the story. Yeah, well, it's entertaining though. It's entertaining. I know. I used to get get them from my aunt who was going blind. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I'd do that. <laughs> I don't have time to read. Just to get on and try to work. <laughs> oh, you do. You wind up getting big fine now. Oh, you can have those on. You can have them on. Books on tape. I don't think so. Uh huh. You just can't text. I don't do that. I don't text while I'm driving. It's like it's like a text. Yeah, it's terrible it's like that, that people are they're dying because they're they're texting. You know, they're reaching down and yeah. 
I mean, it's insane. But how do they think they can look away from the... The phone is one thing, because at least you're looking. But when you're looking at that, you're not looking at the road at all. <laughs> and how do they think they can do that? Well, I'm coming home. I'm coming home and everybody's talking on their cell phone. Yeah. Well, we don't have that law here, I don't think, yet. Well, we do. And, uh, well, it's the same state. It, it's counties, I think. Oh, no, I don't in think so. Counties? No, no, it's in by state. County? No, it's by state. I'm pretty sure it's by state. Maryland has it. I don't know about county, but... No, but if the state has it, the counties don't need it. Yeah. It's a state law. If it's a state law, Maryland don't and have then, that state law? No? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I, uh, they were talking about New Jersey, I believe, when they had it on television. Really? Hmm. Because it's a right stiff line. Well, I'm driving along, coming home from work, and I look over. <laughs> the guy's got a newspaper. <laughs> Reading a newspaper? On yeah. a steering wheel. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yes, let me move over. Yeah. <laughs> let me move over. <laughs> but everybody's talking on their cell phone. Like this. <laughs> yeah. Not a good thing. Yeah. It's not a good thing. They've got a story to tell somebody. I put mine on uh, hands. Pretty soon they'll be telling it to God. Because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Or. That, Oh, well, yeah. The man with the horns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stop scratching. Stop scratching. Stop scratching. I see you, Missy. I see you. What you got your finger in my ear for? Why? I'm trying to find a little bird. <laughs> Trying to show off for you. Oh, she's a great. She's the greatest. <laughs>